we are sharing our overnight experience at the Hilton Garden Inn Anaheim Resort near Disneyland. There are two garden inns in the Disneyland area and this one is the closest and it's located on South Manchester near the Howard Johnson. Moving on to the proximity to the parks. This hotel is about a 13 to 15 minute walk to the front gates of Disneyland and it is a pretty easy walk to the parks. And it felt like a safe walk to the parks. My oldest son and I walked back to the room around 11 p.m. We crossed at the main crosswalk with all the other people and there was quite a few other people walking in the same direction as we were. We did cut through the Mimi's and Marriott theme park entrance parking lot to get over to Manchester and felt super safe. Moving on to staff and service. First impressions were awful when we got to the hotel. <laughs> there was a line out to the street. There was someone checking in cars to the hotel and it's valet only. It took us about 20 minutes just to check our car into the hotel room. Once we got past the first impression, everything else was excellent. We had very good interactions with the front desk. Everyone went above and beyond for service there. In the morning when we were checking out, we did notice there's no direct line to the valet to call your car. So we did have to call the front desk and they were happy to let the valet know to bring our car up and it was ready for us when we got downstairs. Property conditions. This hotel, like Jim said, is brand new. It opened in July 2021 and we stayed in September 2021, so it was only a couple months old. So it looked exactly like you would expect a brand new hotel to look. Nice and clean and wonderful. The pool area is still under construction. It is not ready yet. You couldn't even go out in that area. We could see the pool, but it, there's no water in it and it did look like there's construction going on. And also there is a bar slash restaurant that will be in the hotel, but currently as of right now, it is not open. If those two things are really important to you for your stay, we definitely recommend calling the hotel directly to see when those will be open, if they'll be open in time for your visit. During peak times, there weren't enough elevators. Uh, there were long waits and every floor that we went down, there were a lot of people waiting for elevators. So it's our recommendation if you're going downstairs at peak times, find the stairs and take the stairs if you're capable of doing so. Moving on to cleanliness, we are noticing in a lot of our stays in the Anaheim area and also on reviews on TripAdvisor that the rooms aren't quite as clean as we would expect. And we are assuming that is because there's a labor shortage. They're probably not having as much time as they need to clean the room and so they're making little shortcuts here and there. For that reason, we are cutting them a little bit of slack just because we've seen it so often lately. Um, but we did want to tell you what we noticed. We did find two black hairs on the wall and also two more in the bathtub. And we noticed that the tile flooring in the entryway and the bathroom of the room was dirty. And we knew that was dirty because when we stepped on it and got into the bathtub, it left dirty feet prints. And we are guessing the dirt on the tile was construction dirt and dust because we had a very similar thing happen when we remodeled our home a couple years ago. And it did take quite some time to get rid of that dust and dirt. But we did want to point those things out. Moving on to room comfort. This is a Hilton. It was as comfortable as other Hiltons we have stayed at in the past. The pullout bed was brand new and our son did say it was comfortable. The one thing it was missing, extra sheets. So if you're staying in colder months, you will probably have to call the front desk for more sheets to stay warm in the bed. What we did notice about the hotel, there was a large air gap underneath the door that was going to the central hallway. And there was quite a bit of noise that would come through that door. Like we have recommended in past videos, if you are getting a a lot of noise from underneath the door, a towel usually solves a lot of that problem, it makes it tolerable. One other thing with the room, it is massive. This is one of the bigger rooms out there. Probably comparable rooms will be the Wyndham Anaheim and the Suncoast Hilton, and we'll link those room tours down in the description. There's just a lot of room in this hotel, so if you have a lot of stuff, a pack and play, uh, strollers, there's room for all of it, and you can spread out. On to amenities. As I mentioned before, there is a pool and a restaurant slash bar. And one other thing that is open right now and that we got to try out was the coffee bar and we loved it. It was great. Customer service was wonderful. The food was great. We recommend going 10 to 15 minutes early to grab your food because when we approached, there was no line, but right after we ordered, there was about six other people in line and the ladies do move fairly quickly, but there's only two of them. So plan extra time. 
Would we stay at this hotel again? Being a brand new hotel, this hotel is experiencing growing pains, but we did have an overall good experience staying at the hotel. The size of the room is massive, and for those people looking to stay for a week, this is a great place to look. There's just so much room. The room is comfortable, and we think it's a great place to check out in the future. If you wanna check out the room tour of the Hilton Garden Inn, click right here. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.